Hello, this is Marcus Giuliano. I'm the chef and owner of Aroma Time Bistro, a small restaurant located 90 miles north of New York City in the beautiful Hudson Valley. And Aroma Time uh, was the first certified green restaurant in upstate New York in the Hudson Valley. And today I want to talk about hot food and why you shouldn't eat hot food. And everybody's such a fanatic on hot food. My soup needs to be hot, this needs to be hot. And they, oh, then they over exaggerate, especially in restaurants. The food is ice cold, and the food's not ice cold, it's just not hot, hot, hot. So we're all familiar with a sunburn, what happens with a sunburn. You go in the sun, you get a burn, you get red, it peels. What simply happens is your DNA is ruptured at that point. So you get a you get permanent damage on your, 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 the DNA level. And after years and years of reproducing bad DNA on that spot, you possibly could get cancer, skin cancer. So that's how that works. Now, I'm a huge advocate of the sun, and I love the sun, and I go out in the sun and lay out sometimes for an hour, hour and a half um, with no problems because I, I don't use sunscreen. But what I do do is I, I do moderation. Beginning of the year, I go out for 10, 15 minutes at a time, and 20 minutes, and 30 minutes, and 45 minutes, and then an hour. So I kind of build up the sun so I don't burn. Now, when you eat food, and I heard this, I heard this this summer, and it's just, it's just so so crucial this information when you eat hot food you know you burn your mouth burn the top of your top of your mouth and you get hot, you get hot food down 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 into your throat that's the same as a sunburn you're actually compromising your dna you're damaging your dna now what happens same as a sunburn after years and years of reproducing ruptured or bad dna you're going you could the possibility of increase certain types of cancer like esophageal cancer so this, this is really valuable information. This is really why you should not eat your food piping hot and drink coffee that's piping hot. And I know you want to because sometimes you're cold and you feel the need for super hot food and you think it's going to warm you up. But really the difference between food, soup or coffee that's 190 degrees versus 160 degrees, that 30, different, that 30 degrees can make a huge massive difference in how um, your body's actually responding to that internally. So uh, just be conscious of the food and the drinks that you put into your body and how hot they actually are. Um, I'm a huge, now, ever since I heard this, I, I purposely wait for soup to cool down a little bit so it's more manageable. I know sometimes you're hungry and you want to dig in, but you know it's really, really important. I'm Marcus Giuliano. I'm a chef on a mission. Thank you for watching.